Hey, so this is a quick video response that I'm going to do to Unrested. Uh, in basically as well, Unrested. If you don't know him, his channel's good. Uh, all of his uh, FAQs that he does, I think, are really spot on, and I think this one is as well. Ano, まずちょっとなんか日本語のまあ腹立ってるような日本人もいるんだけど。でまあ、日本の悪口とか言ってるつもりはこれはないと思うこの人はもう日本が好きでこれ社会問題としては関心があると考えていてあので確かにもう指摘はですねあのちょっとコメントがあって精神病の施設が少ないと言ってると思ってる人はいるようでいやそうじゃなくて心のカウンセリングの施設が少ないでそれはもう本当そういうただただ心の相談がしたい悩みがある人とかそういう,もう自殺考えてる借金で悩んでる人とかとよくなんか一人で我慢して我慢して自殺する傾向はそういう指摘であの彼はもうあのはっきり言うの精神の施設はあるけどそれは問題ないけど心のカウンセリングとかあの相談できるところ少ないってそれはまあ根拠はあると。思いますね他の日本語のコメントもありましてねこれはまあ事実の事実はほとんどないという言い過ぎるんだけどでも少ないでまあ確かに必要とする人も必ず見つけるわけでもないさあこれからちょっと英語で言うんだけどでもまずちょっとねその指摘はもしかしたらあの彼の中言ってることを誤解したんじゃないかと So sorry I had to say a little bit of Japanese just、uh, I think there are some people who weren't quite getting some of the comments on the video Tough topic, and it's one I, you know, I, I don't want to get too deeply into, but I tell you,、uh, a lot of the things you said were really, really true.、Uh, first up,、um, it's very true that I think there's so much pressure to conform in Japanese society. A lot of people who can't,、um, who are a bit co opted, like it's embarrassing for their families, and you know, they send their kids overseas. And there's a school in New Zealand for disturbed children.、Um, where, and it, it's pretty common,、uh, families would send their, their children to New Zealand. And there are a lot of kind of odd Japanese people there.、Uh, and you could tell, you know, even at my Arbeitel in New Zealand, there were people who like talked to themselves. And, you know, it's kind of in New Zealand, you know, any country, I think, there's always lots of co opted people like that. But in Japan, there's a lot of pressure for them not to stand out. And、uh, they, find, they find it much more comfortable in countries where people don't look at them the way that maybe they get looks in Japan. There was a school for troubled children called the Columbus Academy in Auckland where.、Um, Yeah, a kid was murdered a few years ago. And what's worse is not only was a kid murdered by, and it was, a, it, was, it was a bullied kid who was sent there because he was bullied, and it was a school for bullies and, bully, <laughs> and kids who were bullied. It was a total mess. And when this murder happened, you know, all the parents in Japan just pulled all their parents, the kids back, told them not to talk to the police. And, you know, so far as, I as I've heard, no one's been punished for it.、Uh, you know, it's really shameful, actually. But, you know, these parents were ashamed that they had their kids, that it might, the information might get out that they had their. Kids at the school in New Zealand, and that they ship them off overseas. But you know, I think it's a, a way that unfortunately there, there's definitely a cultural trend, I think, of、uh, treating any kind of. I mean, it, it's like these、uh, phys ed teachers at schools who kill their students in summer by not letting them drink water while training, thinking that mental toughness will somehow overcome dehydration. I think it's even more so with mental illness. The idea that Utsubio is like.、Uh, It's a bit of depression, the fact that you can overcome it with、uh, Yamato Damashi and Gaman. <laughs> the fact that you can just be tough and stiff up a p p e r lip and pull through it. And you know,、um, and if thinking is old fashioned, I think it's equivalent to old fashioned thinking in our own countries. And you know, maybe we've gone too extreme in some ways, you, know, you can say that. But yeah, no, there's definitely. I, I had a friend who was a doctor. I was going to write this in a comment, there's not enough room. I had a friend who was a doctor, and she. Told me about how, for example, she would sometimes get people who would get, come in showing signs of depression, talking about being depressed, they'd come in s l a s h wrists. And all of the doctors in, Japan, in New Zealand, when you get attempted suicides,、um, the doctors immediately they'll have an on standby.、Um, I, I guess it's a psychiatrist, I'm not, I'm not very good with the distinction, so I think they do have a counselor there anyway who will assess patients if they need to be checked into mental health care.、Um, And I've dealt with that with a Japanese girl who was shipped off to New Zealand who was a bit kawakuru and、uh, she cut her wrists in my apartment <laughs> in New Zealand and I had to go and translate the entire counseling session. That would traumatize me.、Uh, kind of made me a bit smitai towards odd people in New Zealand as well. It kind of really shook me up having to go through this. And I told my doctor friend about this and she said in Japan, she's had patients come in with cut wrists. All they can do is bandage them up and send them out. A couple of months later, same patient comes in, same thing. And if they even bring it up to the families that maybe she should get some help, 
families are like, you know, what, a crazy person in my family? <laughs> They'll get angry at the doctors for even suggesting that they might call mental health care or that, you know, that, that they might need to go to a session she says. So, yeah, you know, I mean, the stuff exists and it's not totally backward, but there is definitely a taboo against mental illness in Japan, which is definitely contributes um, to the suicide epidemic amongst adults. Uh, another thing which you didn't mention, which I certainly don't want to get into, is the plague of uh, loan sharking and uh, dodgy money lenders and <laughs> the number of people who have debts. And you always hear, you know, people who are involved in serious crimes and stuff like that. It says that they have a lot of debts. Um, you know, you don't want to get up in that world, you know, of, of white slavery, a lot of the prostitutes, a lot of the, you know, the people who do crimes for mafia, they're, they're tied up in debt. Um, you know, you just, you don't want to get into that, that world as well. And a lot of people you hear about this, they're, they're overcome with debts and they're being chased around the country, but, you know, their, their employers get called up and they, they feel like they've got nowhere to run. So you hear a lot about that as well with debts in Japan, and loan sharking. Um, so there are definitely those things. Now, as for my own country, New Zealand, uh, New Zealand has a higher youth suicide rate than Japan does, <laughs> which is funny. I mean, a lot of Kiwis I know want to move back to Japan when they uh, back to New Zealand when they have kids because they think it's a great place to raise kids, and it is. It's a great natural, you know, open country, but it's also a very much a small town country where everyone knows each other. And I think anyone who's been in a small town in any country. Uh, if you can imagine that blown up to a whole scale of a country, you can imagine, and Japan's like that as well. Japan's got a big population, but it operates like a small town where everyone knows each other. And there's a lot of stress, which you get like that social stress. Um, and it seems like Finland and New Zealand in particular have real problems with that at the youth level. Uh, then we all leave the country like I have. <laughs> uh, as adults, and you know, you don't hear about it so much as an adult thing. Japan's definitely got the adult thing, but uh, no, it's a very serious problem. It definitely exists. Um, I have unfortunately had to deal with friends, and, and, and you know, I, I think in New Zealand, you know, there are always advertisements for where you can get counselling. There's always, you know, helplines and so on. There's information about it, and there just isn't that information in Japan. I mean, I'm sure you could go looking for it. You can go to like uh, your Kyakusho or your local city council office, and they maybe find leaflets or whatever. And I'm sure it exists. But most people, you know, when they're really in trouble with money and so on, you know, that stuff is just isn't an easy reach. And that certainly is an issue. Um, the other things which you brought up, what were they? They were child pornography and uh, domestic violence. Well, I mean, there's a stereotype, I think, that Japan's got worse domestic violence than anywhere else. I, I don't know about that. You know, I think people can just be scumbags in their own family. There's definitely a thing about not, you know, wanting to get involved in other people's business. Uh, particularly in Tokyo, maybe more than other parts of Japan. Um, I think Japan's not quite as antiquated in that regard as maybe some stereotypes have. Uh, the child pornography thing as well. I mean, the fact that the whole thing's backwards with the pornography, how, you know, they censor body parts, but they can show torture <laughs> and physical violence and stuff, which would be illegal. In New Zealand, you can show everything in pornography, but you're not allowed to show violence or coercion or simulated underage. In Japan, you can do all of those things. You just can't show the bits. So, you know, of course, from my cultural perspective, that's odd. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean... But no, I really wanted to pick up, I guess, on the suicide thing. And, you know, it is, a, it is a plague in Japan. There are TV specials in Japan which talk about it. There are like Omari san and Hai. There are, very, there are popular suicide spots. There are books, there are popular books. There's a best selling book on different ways to commit suicide and great locations to go to where you can, you know, get lost in forests and die of exposure or jump off cliffs. And the police in those areas, you know, because they're so popular, they'll get, you know, every week they'll get a dozen people come along. And the police walk around there, you know, trying to find people. And, and these old omari san you know, 50, 60 year old oji sons, are the ones doing the counseling. And, you know, they show this on TV. And they kind of praise these, you know, policemen as heroes. But, you know, it goes to show that they obviously, you know, there needs to be more trained help out there for those sorts of people. And, you know, it's sad. Um, yeah, I mean, it exists in every single country. And, you know, hell, I think certainly, you know, mental health issues are much more out in the open in New Zealand. Uh, and Australia, you know, and what I've seen in America. Um, and the whole idea, for example, I mean, I think there's this whole experiment that we've gone through this transition of it from institutionalizing people to letting people with mental health into society and trying to integrate them. And, you know, I think if you want to be really honest about that, it's had mixed results. But, um, 
Yeah, there's definitely, I think, Japan. And I think Japanese people are aware that there needs to be things looked at. So I think this has gone on for a while, but I think it's a really good vid. Uh, I wanted to give my comments in a complete way, and it was a pleasure meeting you in Osaka the other day. So, uh, yeah, good vid. Peace.